Okay, guys, so I have bought a, by accident, a fake Sally SMP carbon fiber road bike set. Um, I bought this actually locally on Facebook Marketplace. The seller is a little bit further away, a couple hours of drive from me. So I, I asked the seller if he can just ship the set to me because he listed the set off of $50. Again, I'm warning you guys, sometimes if you see the price is too good to be true, it is probably not true. In my case, I have to eat up the cost of the $50 because this Sally SMP carbon fiber settle is a fake counterfeit knockoff. And why? The immediate concern I had when I received the settle, I'm going to show you guys so when you try to find a really expensive set of $50 and take a look at some of the markings, okay? So those letters are simply just painted on top. The real one, the letter is gonna look very defined. It's gonna look very sharp. This one literally is painted and it's not even aligned, okay? So it looks horrible. And also this logo, um, it just looks super, super cheap. Okay, it looks cheap. Um, in terms of the shape, I mean, they, the knockoffs did a pretty good job defining that, you know, signature Sally SMP look over here. Um, so the shape, they nailed it. Okay, that's why I thought it was real because the shape looks very, very um, like the real thing. Uh, Another thing, a huge no-no telltale would be when you flip the saddle to the back. The paint on the back is very, very gritty. It's, it looks like they didn't spend any time on the back doing the clear coat. There are even sand left over on the paint. It's really dirty and they just painted the sand inside the saddle. Not good, not good, okay? and. The, if you look at the real one, the reinforcement area also looks very different. Um, this one, it just had a very light one layer reinforcement on the back of the saddle being glued to the other side by epoxy glue. And in terms of long longevity, I'm not sure how long the saddle is gonna last. Um, it is, however, really lightweight. It's 170 grams. Um, on my scale and most of my other saddles are about 250 grams and up and I had a Brooks before that was 400 grams so if weight saving is your main concern yes those knockoff saddles probably it's gonna work for you um, another thing probably because of the of the light weight is the um, the the width of the saddle, extremely, extremely narrow. This is for someone who have a very narrow sit bone. Um, if you have a wider sit bone, you're gonna find the saddle extremely uncomfortable, okay? This is like super narrow. Uh, I measured, I think it's about five or six inch. Um, 100, 120 millimeter, 225 millimeter, that's the width of the saddle. Too narrow for me, unfortunately, I can't even use it. I only bought it because the price looked too good to be true. I paid 50 bucks and I got nothing, okay? Um, and this saddle is actually being used, like the previous seller uh, or the seller bought the bike with a high-end components and he doesn't know anything about, you know, fake saddles. And he said, because everything else is high-end, this must be a real saddle. And obviously this guy just cheaped out and bought a fake one. Uh, you can see this saddle has been um, laid onto the wall before, so there are some markings over here, but in terms of integrity, it's still together. And again, the thickness of the saddle, it's extremely thin. I don't know about durability, I don't know about comfortness, uh, but just want to let you guys know, when you see a Sally SMP carbon that's less than $100, it's probably a fake. Okay, and be careful of people selling the fake ones as real ones for more than $100. Then you're gonna get a bigger ripoff. Um, but yeah, at the very end, give you guys a very close look on the fake saddle. 
the print definitely looks off. The first time you see the print, you know it's fake. Okay, the real one shouldn't look like the kind of cheap feeling on the paint. Um, another telltale again is on the back. The paint quality is horrendous. It's ugly on the back. Don't ever flip the settle. Also over here. Those letters are painted on there and it's already falling off. So this is also a telltale that it's fake. It's painted letters on the back of the saddle. And uh, so there you have it. If you guys have any questions about this fake Stelly SMP carbon fiber saddle, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. Otherwise, hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please do hit the like button or subscribe. And I should have more similar contents coming out for you guys, okay? Thanks again and uh, take care.